Hi, my name is Crystal Ritchie, and most of y'all may know me as Miss Crystal. I'm so glad to be here with you today and to have this opportunity to read this interesting book. Um, it's called The Girl with a Mind for Math, The Story of Ray Montague, and the author is Julia Finley Mosa. If there's something you want, but it seems out of reach, here's a story for you, a great truth it will teach. When you focus your mind, you'll succeed through and through. Like one bold engineer by the name Montague. In a state we call Arkansas, one winter day, a baby girl was welcomed, a girl they called Ray. She was bright as a star, super smart from the start. She was headstrong, this child, and not faint of heart. Yes, this girl had potential. Her granddad was proud. He told her, work hard, you'll stand out from the crowd. Then something she cherished when Ray was just seven. He took her to see her first ship, and it was heaven. A real submarine! Her eyes opened wide. Who made it, she asked, as they followed the guide. Engineers, said the man, giving Ray's head a pat. But my dear, you don't need to know all about that. At the time, the man's insult went right over her head. No, you can't were the words he had meant, but not said. Engineering, thought Ray, and her life's dream began. Except most people laughed when she told them her plan. Stay strong, said her mom. Use your brains, you'll be fine. There will always be people who pay you no mind. Just because you're a girl and because you are black, don't let them or the state of your school hold you back. You see, schools in those days are what we call segregated. The black and white students were kept separated. That's wrong, you exclaim. It was dismal, no fooling. At worst of all, white kids received better schooling. But Ray studied hard. She had grit. She taught herself. She was gifted in math and she read books by the shelf. When the time came for college, she knew what to choose. She'd learned to build boats, but she got some bad news. Engineering's not taught to black students, they said. Her heart hit the floor. I'll take business instead. She'd learn what she could and she'd learn the rest later. Their rules were unjust, but that school wouldn't break her. Ray finished with honors. Oh boy, what a smarty. She said her farewells. There was no time to party. I'm off to a place filled with historic greats, the capital city of all 50 states. Now finding a job, it turned out that took time. She looked and she looked. Ray was not one to whine. Then it must have been fate. At least that's what it seems. She was hired to type where they build submarines. The Navy, that's right. Oh, but hold all your cheers. Ship designing was only for trained engineers. So she watched as they worked and she learned every task, even studied computers by night in a class. Then her big break arrived. The whole staff got the flu. Ray did all her work and the engineers worked too. Her boss was in shock. How, he exploded. From memory, said Ray. And with that, she got promoted. Life should have been swell. Yet that wasn't the case. Her boss treated her poorly because of her race. Many people, like him, tried to make her feel small. Ray just held her head high, and she outworked them all. What next? From the White House, there came a command. The president ordered a ship. Make it grand. 
And quickly, he added, well, that didn't fly. All those plans would take engineers months to supply. Here's the thing about that. When designing a boat, there are thousands of measurements. One needs to know. All those numbers take math, and that takes some time. Ah, uh, but Ray had been working on something sublime. She took a deep breath. I can solve this, she said. I've come up with a system to do it instead. I'll draw the plans faster, she told them, don't fret. I'll design the first ship by computer, no sweat. How long do you think that might take? Hmm. What's your guess? Would it take her a month? maybe weeks for success? Well, it took calculations and lots of caffeine. You know, that stuff in the coffee that your moms and dads probably drink. And me too. Yeah. Calculations and caffeine. But Ray finished in hours, just 18. Her program, it worked. All the blueprints were done. The ship was constructed the engineers stunned. You did it, they cheered, and her boss had to say that her quick mind for math had in fact saved the day. The end, not quite. When Ray's ship was unveiled, only white men could go. And Ray's invite not mailed? Say what? You heard right, no invite. Abhorrable. In fact, some might say it was downright deplorable. Yet Ray kept her cool. She gave her best every day, and in time, all her skills were applauded. Hooray! People learned from her work. Who's this Ray, they demand. When they met her, they stared. They expected a man. Yes, that happened a lot. Many could not believe that a woman of color did all she'd achieved. Some even thought that Ray was a maid. Sad, but true. Although, there's nothing wrong with being a maid. It's just, they didn't expect that she could be an engineer, you know? When they would order a drink, she would just say, Oh yeah, bring me one too. All her humor and wit served her well through the years as she battled the hard times with laughs and not tears. And that boss in the Navy who'd been so unkind made Ray the first woman to lead ship design. More honors would follow. Her fame picked up steam. And finally, at last, she accomplished her dream. That title she'd worked for, an engineer. Score! Now the world knows her feats. She is hidden no more. Ray Montague, engineer. I just want to tell you that one of the reasons that I was so glad to be asked to read this book is because I am also an engineer. Yep, I'm a black woman and I am an engineer. You can do anything you put your mind to. With the help of the Lord and hard work, you can do great things just like Ray Montague.